All right, welcome back to another new video. In this video, we're going to talk about how to paint in watercolor using the Cubist technique. Okay, welcome back, guys. Today, I'm going to talk about cubism and how to structure uh, cubist watercolor. Okay, so here's my sketch, my pre sketch of what I'm referring to. This is uh, my thinner Stratocaster, and then I drew that in first and then went through started pulling similar curves and lines and shapes out of there to make it more of a cubist drawing okay so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start sketching this out onto this piece of paper okay I'm just using a regular pencil for this. Uh, you know, that's not the best thing to use. It works pretty good with watercolor. And I actually don't mind my pencil lines showing up to my watercolor. I mean, there's some people that might bug, but I, I really don't. I kind of think it adds to it, to be honest. basic shape in there now. This will come through and refine like shit this. So now what I'm going to do is now that I got that basic shapes in there, I'm going to come through and start adding some of the cubist elements. Okay, so maybe I have part of the neck coming out over here. Just the shape of the neck, just to kind of start making this abstract. Get the frets in.
So what I'm doing here is just kind of sketching those tuners and then kind of equaling them out by redrawing over it and erasing through. Then what I'm going to do is to start putting some horizontals and vertical lines in, um, some shapes, then that, so I can make this into a cubist piece. So I, can, so I have this shape. It's not really there, but I'm going to add it in there because I think it would be an interesting place for it. Circle back there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, just keep working on this, um, fill in just different lines and shapes, then I'll come back to you. Okay, here we are. I'm back. Uh, I put some more time into the guitar, went down and actually looked up my guitar, fixed the frets a little bit, um, see right there. then added some lines that are going through. This shape is already here, but I added this circle behind here and this as well and then we'll break up the guitar a little bit with some color. Okay, so the colors I'm using, I'm using some Jackson Purple, Burnt Sienna, Raw Umber, Lens, Alizarin Crimson, Prussian Blue, and then Yellow Ochre. And I might use some other colors too, but primarily that's gonna be my color scheme for this um, Cubist paint. Okay, starting out, I'm just going to block in some color, shape by shape, form by form. Just kind of um, go around putting some warm and cool colors together, balancing out with some brown. The towel handy, just in case they get too dark, um, you'll notice that this next guitar neck, in a second, I'll get too dark with it and I'll end up having to use a paper towel to dab it. That's perfectly fine. And then I'm using colors 
it's coming going through and just defining different shapes, different forms, different lines that I see within the cubist painting. So I'm uh, adding uh, more contrast to the background by darkening it, which will bring out the foreground, which is in a lighter value, a lighter contrast. So I want those uh, guitars to pop a little bit more than they are right now currently. So I'm using really loose brush strokes, a lot of water, just to kind of let it blend, be itself. Just be an abstract painting. Now here's like a guitar neck I was talking about. Ended up getting really too dark, and ended up in, and then I had to use a paper towel to fix it. Okay, now is my favorite part. This is where I use a colored pencil to come in and bring out the lines and the shapes that I need. Any details I think need to hold out a little bit more. I'm kind of just going over the graphite that was underneath the watercolor with this uh, color pencil. It's not black. I believe it's like it's a really dark blue. Um, it's a, it's a pretty one though. I like it. It's just a super, it's not a, quite black, but it's dark enough to do what you need. Thanks for watching guys, it's been awesome.